up guys in today's video we're going to be talking about the easiest way to actually get your sigma to gold in black ops cold war now all these tips and tricks i'm about to be showing you guys are the methods that i used in order to get this thing gold in under a day now i've been working on the regular rocket launcher as well and i will be making a video for that as well whenever i get a gold but in today's video we're going to be talking about the sigma 2 specifically because both these rocket launchers in this game are kind of weak in my opinion so a lot of people have been struggling with this so i'm going to be showing you guys my tips on order on how to get a gold but into this again before we get to that i want you guys to subscribe and here to drop the thumbs up to today's video i want you to also comment down below and tell me where you're at in dark matter what guns have you gotten gold what guns are you trying to get gold currently are you trying to get your rocket launchers done if you're watching this video it's pretty obvious you're trying to get your rocket launchers done but is it for right now later on when are you trying to get things done let me know in the comments below much once again, guys. Also, as well, if you guys do want to drop me a follow on Twitch, I do live stream every single day with my Dark Matter grind personally, and I do stream every day in general just to have fun on Call of Duty. So I hope to see you guys around there, and hope you guys can join my community and hit that sub button and follow button on Twitch. Much once again, guys, let's get right into this. So for the Sigma 2, my best advice in order to get this thing gold in multiplayer is to play Hardcore Domination. Now, Hardcore Domination, in my opinion, is by far the easiest way because Flak Jacket, for some reason, and Hardcore is not working. You can literally one-shot people or actually multiple enemies with one rocket in Hardcore. And just Domination has the longest matches and the most amount of kills possible for you to get in one match using a rocket launcher. So, looking over at at all of this stuff on the first challenges you have to get 50 eliminations with the Sigma 2 now what you guys are gonna notice even when you're playing hardcore is that the rockets are really bipolar you can literally shoot a rocket next to somebody's feet and sometimes you won't even get a kill and sometimes you can shoot a rocket that's literally three miles away and you somehow get a kill the rockets in this game are really bipolar. I found this out with the M79 grenade launcher, and it's the same thing for these launchers. So when it comes to getting kills with this, I would try to direct impact people as much as possible, even if it's multiple enemies. Moving on to the second challenge, destroy 50 equipment, store score streaks, and vehicles. The easiest way to do this is by far shooting down UAVs or even shooting proximity mines. Moving on to the next challenge, as also, let's rewind for a second. Make sure that you're always running Engineer on your class because it will make your life easier whenever you're trying to get anything done with a grenade launcher, rocket launcher, whatever, like no matter what you're using that's explosive, running Engineer is by far the best way to go for your perk. Moving on to the get three kills without dying. Now this one, I was raging a lot. I will be saying this, you guys do be warned. You're gonna be raging a lot with this one because this rocket launcher pulls up really slow. It shoots really slow. And sometimes whenever you're shooting somebody, like I said, the rockets can be bipolar. So with this challenge right here, it's all going to come with positioning. And I'd say the easiest maps to do this on would be Crossroads. And on Crossroads, what I did is where the bridge is, where the room, and then the bridge, and then the room. I would just sit in one room and then shoot rockets into the next room as soon as somebody comes around. And then not only just that, there's little resupply stations for the rockets right underneath you where you can keep resupplying your rockets. Moving on as well, I would say using Moscow's um, A spawn is a good idea as well. I normally sat inside of a building and I would literally just spawn trap them with a rocket. Moving on to the next challenge is destroy 50 ground based score streaks or vehicles in multiplayer. So what I normally do for this is I go to fire team dirty bomb and all I do is if I have engineer as a perk on my class. All I do is float the entire game and then press right bumper when you're looking at the scoreboard and it will bring up your entire map. If you do this correctly and you have engineer on your class, anytime that somebody's on a vehicle, anytime somebody puts on a sentry gun or a CXD, it will highlight red on the map for you. And if you're floating, then you can get there the fastest. Or not only just that, since you have a, rock on, uh, a lock on rocket launcher in your back pocket, all you have to do is mid-air lock onto a vehicle and then shoot it and then that's literally it's all it takes i pretty much completed this challenge in two games believe it or not i was getting over 20 vehicle kills a game doing this and fire team dirty bomb with this method all you have to do is float run engineer 
look at your map the entire time, wait for somebody to hop on a vehicle, and then lock onto it and shoot it while you're midair. And if you're lucky, you can even get two vehicle kills midair and then just fall to your death. But if you do that correctly, I'm telling you, you will get this challenge done extremely fast. Moving on to the next challenge, just destroy 50 aerial score streaks. This one's really simple. All you have to do is shoot down UAVs or counter UAVs or even choppers, but by far the easiest thing is to shoot down UAVs, clearly, because it only takes one rocket. For some reason, counter UAVs this year take two rockets. Moving on to the next challenge, it's the science camo, and this one is destroy three score streaks or enemy vehicles in a single game ten times in multiplayer. Do not be stressing the vehicle part in this one because honestly UAVs are by far going to be your best friends in this because there's always multiple UAVs to be shot down in a game. All you have to do is get three UAVs shot down in one game, and yes, this challenge is stackable, so meaning if you do shoot down six UAVs or six streaks in general that are aerial, then you will count two times for this challenge. Moving on to the next challenge, it's kill two or more enemies rapidly 25 times in multiplayer. This is pretty much getting 25 double kills in multiplayer. Now this one's also a challenge that you guys are going to want to do on Crossroads and especially Moscow because in my opinion those are two of the easiest maps to do so. Even Armada if you're camping on top of the B-Dom's uh, position I think that'd be a pretty good position for this as well. This pretty much just comes with time played. This was actually my last challenge to get done believe it or not and I was raging on this one as well. So after you've done that, you will see that you get gold. It's pretty simple, man, for this one. The rocket launcher that I'm working on right now is going to be a little bit harder. But the hardest challenge I would have said on this whole entire thing would probably be three kills without dying or the double kills. Once you guys got that filtered out and stuff like that, you're pretty much smooth sailing from there. So I want you guys to drop a thumbs up today's video. I want you to also comment down below. And I want you to also subscribe if you're new right here. I want you once again, guys. Peace.